Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again and I've only really just got my voice back. <laughs> I wanted to make some videos but unfortunately I had a bit of a cold and it went right on my voice box. I still got it a little bit but I'm feeling alright. I've never really felt particularly ill but it stops you from talking. <laughs> So anyway, I could have another go at this mountain scene that I did with a castle, but I want to change things a little, a little bit. I want a different type of uh, colour scheme. So I'm just throwing in some uh, purples. Put to about there. I'm just using the blue and the red. Almost using it like a watercolour really. Every now and then I have to pause my video because I go into like a bit of a coughing fit. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen too many times. So, let's carry on with this. It's got this purpley sort of sky going. Throwing in some white there. Yeah, so I'm just throwing in a little bit of blue. A bit of blue, blue and red. I want, I want this guy to have a, a bit more blue to it. I'm trying a bit of milk. <laughs> Maybe that'll ease my throat a little bit. A bit of milk and honey. I'm going to take my time on this painting. I'm not really going to rush too much. So I quite like relaxing and painting. Think about other things. Not thinking about other like things, your day-to-day -day things. I don't tend to think about it while I'm painting because I'm so focused. <laughs> I have this amazing focus Okay, so that's the sky area. I might use this um, down here as well. So we've got the ground it's sort of along here, isn't it? So we have a castle on a hill, sort of there. And then there are some trees there. So what I want to do is play with light a little bit. I'm umming and ahhing on weather. I'm going to have my light sort of uh, zinging onto the mountain, lighting the mountain up. And then maybe a bit on the castle as well. But I've got to somehow match that together a little bit. Put a little bit more white in my colour there. So I want to lighten it up a little bit here as a Kind of a, a separator. Okay.
Something like that. Got a bit of a light to dark kind of a uh, thing. So now, what I want to do, I'll bring my camera down a little bit. I can see the shape of the uh, <coughs> the uh, page a bit better now. Bring that down there. And that side. Okay, that's quite a good start, and the milk seems to be working. <laughs> the good old milk and honey. Right, so, now what I want to do is I really want to start um, pulling the mountain out. Now, I could do it darker. I could create a dark area first. Or I could just put highlights in and sort of let it kind of paint itself. <laughs> Which sounds strange. But first I'll probably dry it maybe. How wet is it? Yeah, it's drying quite quick actually. I'll just run the hairdryer over it and then uh, I've got no worries. Okay, so I just added a bit of yellow on my palette. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but sometimes a little bit of yellow in the red can make it a bit better. <laughs> this is a uh, crimson by the way. I can't remember if I said the colours. A little bit of crimson and yellow and then white. So what we're getting. And then a blue. So, do I like that? I think it needs to be a bit warmer. That's why that yellow comes in handy. It gets like a nice warm colour. Warm reddish, pinkish colour. I think I'll go with that to start with. Let's see what it looks like when you put it next to your colour. I think that looks quite good, doesn't it? You could go for more of a magenta colour. I find like um, magenta, you really need a pre-mixed tube of magenta. I find it difficult to get the mix right. I'm going for this warm sort of red for this mountain, which I, I, I'm going to do the similar mountain. I'm not going to do the same because what I want to do is miss out the area around the castle. So I want the car moving the castle a bit here. And I'll just light it with the same sort of colour. And uh, anyway, let us do this. The light is going to hit this side of the mountain here. And it goes up to that part. And there's a piece, I really like the piece that goes like that on this mountain. And then I'll go for a piece that goes like that. 
So. And then we've got a bit that's there. And a bit behind. Sort of like that as well. And then there's a bit over here. Goes like there. And goes around as well, like that. And then what we can do after this, we can start adding a little bit more dark on the other side. So what I might do is get a bit of a uh, burn umber on the palette. I'm now just washing my brush. I'm going to use the same brush for everything. You're probably best off with two because then you can keep your light on the brush and the dark on on the other brush. But that's what I would probably suggest. I'm just going to uh, just just go for it like this. <laughs> So I've got some dark, some burn umber, and a bit of burn umber, a bit of blue, a bit of crimson, making a dark to the blue. Then we can use this to start bringing in the mountain shape. You can leave some of the colour on it to uh, <laughs> signify the, the blue cast. You don't have to like block it in doing this way. You can uh, leave some. Sort of having that kind of misty there. So I'll just use my finger just to mist it a bit. Same with that area. When you're creating your mountain, you can make it in any way you want it to look. You can always use a uh, real mountain to give you the ideas. This time I'm just going to put a little bit of colour. Certain areas, maybe I want it to be a bit darker. Something like that. Some of these bits I can uh, darken as well. Maybe just there on that ridge I can add a bit more. 
Ne. So now what I might do is go a little bit further with my uh, colour of the highlight colour. I'm thinking I might go a bit more red. So I'll go a little bit more crimson in my mix. So I think this will look a bit better. Okay, slightly stronger now, isn't it? Slightly stronger colour. So letting that kind of blend together a bit. Now what I'm going to do is uh, get a little bit of blue and white. purpley sort of colour can break some of this up a bit Okay, so that gives me uh, something, <laughs> some uh, interesting shapes. I think I'm going to move forward to the castle now. I want this castle to be about there. Have the round part and then maybe have a, a bit of a wall. Up there, maybe. And the tower. It's going back there. Something like that. This could be like a different planet, couldn't it? <laughs> and if anyone's watching The Mandalorian at the moment. Could be somewhere like that. Some Star Wars universe. I feel like putting some clouds in. Just picked up some reddy brownie colour. And I'm gonna uh, just throw in a bit of atmosphere into the sky.
Hmm, I thought that would look good. It just changes it a little bit. And then what I might do is add. <laughs> I'm just making this up as I go along. I'm just having fun with it, really. It's just kind of like uh, what I like doing, experimenting. I'm going to add a little bit of blue and white in amongst this as well. I might use this to uh, show the shape of the mountain as well, like that. I think I'm going to lighten it a little bit more, get a bit more of a pinkish colour on this because it, it's just not quite standing out enough for me. <coughs> I'll try it anyway. Yeah, that is definitely better. Just want to uh, break that up a little bit. A bit of the dark. Trying to make a few more like triangular shapes in this uh, mountain because I want it to look a little bit more dangerous <laughs> than it is at the moment. I want a little bit of danger in there. It's a good way of creating that in inventing that, say, so, in your painting. Right there, you can, I could add a triangle there, I think.
And if you wanted it to look like a more of a safer place, then you could make, make things more rounded. Yeah, I think that looks quite good. I think I'll leave it like that for now. Looks kind of uh, spooky. A lot of atmosphere, isn't there? Which is what I wanted. So I'm happy with that. Um, so I'm going to put some light on the castle as well. So we'll have it on this side. Grab my red. You can go probably hit the side of here as well. There's a bit on the wall as well. Going a little bit lighter on that one side there. Something like that. You can use a dark colour just to put in the indication of a few windows and stuff. You can see that it's a little bit um, a bit wet still, but it as it dries, it should uh, shouldn't be too bad. Now on the ground, I'm going to use a bit of blue. So I'm just creating a blue. What I'm using is this color for the ground. It's a bit of dark as well. Bit of a reddish on the colour. So something else I've not quite got 
there is I need some sort of a, a tower I think to just to get that triangle in there just to make it a little bit more dangerous remember Add a few little <laughs> just a bit of uh, fun there. Just added a few little marks. <coughs> Now, I just want a little bit lighter blue, just for this ground, just to, uh, just to set that off a bit. That's a bit better. I don't want it to be too like bitty. <laughs> but I do want like this separated here. Okay, now um I'm gonna put in a few trees just along here. Something like that. And I might I might do this. Here's an idea. Getting some yellow on my brush, yellow and red. Maybe I could uh a little bit of light on in some of the windows. Some people at home. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll give this a dry. Okay, I'll just give it a bit of a dry. I'm just going to add a bit more colour on this side. is to have a bit more of the bluey bluey colour along here
Just using the brush, um, letting it sort of flatten out almost, but I'm still creating this texture that I want. Just want a bit of a uh, texture in the paint, so it's not just uh, flat washes. Like I'm throwing like blues. I'm looking at the whole picture. I think I could probably darken this bottom part a little bit more. Something like that. Yeah, I quite like that. I think I'll pause there. I think I've got a, quite a lot of atmosphere in this one. Um, maybe there's a bit. It's a bit too bright at the bottom. Do you think? <laughs> this is the uh, the balancing act. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe I could add a bit of a, a bit of a blue. Just a little bit of blue on my finger. And I can sort of just do it a little bit with a thin, thin layer. I quite like that. So I'll, uh, I think I'll stick there. It's quite moody and interesting. So I'll say thanks very much for watching this one. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye.